And the days merged into weeks, and the weeks into months, and the months years, and the years eons. And still he walked, edging closer and closer to his goal, thinking, Oh my God, will someone please help me carry all this crap? to at least oh god can i even make it up bloody stairs oh god uh, just do it we can do it yes we can oh my god i made it Okay. Hi. We've not really spoke, have we, Aurelia McNarian? And you don't want to speak, which is fine by me, to be honest, unless you can help me carry stuff. Ooh. We've got... Hi. We could start bringing someone else with us, just... Oh, God, I'm hungry. Just to carry stuff. One of these, I believe, is... No. I am standing in the home of a hero. <sighs> yeah, where where do the masks go? Can you remember where... You know, I mean, we can just give them to the, to the museum elves, and I'm sure they'll place them. I just kind of like to know... I tell you what, it's probably going to be quicker for me to have them placed and then run around and find them, he says. Wandering off. Yeah, no. Let's just... Let's get all of this stuff stored and catalogued and then we can run around and see where it is. Okay, there's Orion. Oh, you're here. Yes, I'm... I have some exciting news. A benefactor to the museum was impressed with the exhibits here and donated a relic from their personal collection. You can decide if you want to use it or place it right on display. Yeah, I, okay, brilliant. I'll place it with the rest, shall I? It's probably a little late and I'm sure some of them are asleep, but I just want to see how things are going in the Explorers Guild. Because now I think... Hi there. Oh, hi. I think we've now got... Everyone except for one person. Do I have my light on? Yes, I do. Right, so we got a bunch of beds with no people in. Oh, right. Staying okay, that's out of trouble. two people. Where's my quartermaster? Aha! So, Madras and Eriana. Right, we've still got a lot more beds. Are we going to recruit just general followers once we've got the, the bare essentials? We have one more person on the list. Yes, we do. Open trophy case. We don't really have any trophies in there at the moment. We do need to find that last person to uh, to get the guild started. I think that's what it is. Now, one of the items that's not been placed is the replica of Merun's razor. Now, that's going to be in the Daedric Hall. And it looks like I'm going to have to place it myself, which is mildly annoying. But there you go. Whilst we're in the library, I do have some spare books to store. We've got quite a library now. Um, I'm... Oh, out of curiosity, how many items do we have? How many items do we currently have? 500! Yes! 500 items! All right, let's get these books stored. These don't count towards it, but, you know, it's nice to have a really good 
library. Which reminds me, I should try and find that book. I should try and find that book. Yes, I should. Oh, I don't think I want to put that in. Guild leads. No, I want to keep that. Okay, so now I sort the books. And then I update the lists. We need to update the catalog lists if we're to be able to read all of the books. Although, I'm not totally sure which book it was. Right, let's just... Uh, sit here and while sat in this chair all recorded books from the library can be added to your inventory use the card catalog on the second floor to update this list yes i've already actually done that now i have to try and figure out which of these books it was that talked about as down down in the uh, southwest corner. The Ethereum Wars. Was that it? That's jogging my memory a little. The Ethereum Wars by Taran Dreth. Dedicated to Katria, my friend and colleague. The end, when it came, was swift. In the span of three short years, the great dwarven cities of Skyrim, from Markarth to the Velothi Mountains, fell before the armies of the High King. Cities that had held fast against the Nords for over a hundred years crumbled abruptly and without warning. For centuries, scholars have marvelled at the sudden collapse of the Dwemer city-states. Even the Nords seemed to have been taken by surprise, though their chroniclers were quick to ascribe their success to King Gellir's inspired tactics and the blessings of Shaw. My research suggests a much different cause, however. In the decades preceding their fall, the dwarven cities of Skyrim had been decimated by internal disputes and infighting over a most surprising cause, Ethereum. Modern scholars know Ethereum as a rare luminescent blue crystal found in some Dwemer ruins. Most consider it little more than a curiosity, as it is proven all but impossible to work with. While it has a strong magical aura, it is alchemically inert, and no known process can enchant, smelt, mold, bind, or break it. To the dwarves, of course, such problems were merely a challenge. In the years following King Harald's reign, the Dwemer discovered a considerable source of Ethereum in their deepest delvings. An alliance of four cities, led by Anthems, the great research center in the Southern Reach, was formed to oversee its extraction processing and study at a new Ethereum forge constructed to smelt it under precisely controlled conditions. If the inscriptions I discovered are to be believed, the results were nothing short of spectacular. The items produced by the forge were artifacts of immense power imbued from the moment of their creation with powerful enchantments. The Dwarven Alliance shattered almost immediately as the four city-states and their rivals attempted to claim the forge. We can only speculate that, the, that none were successful. Decades of conflict merely weakened them all, allowing for King Gellir's subsequent conquests. And though the Dwemer reclaimed most of their lands a century later, there is no evidence that they ever resumed their research on Ethereum. Perhaps the cost had been too great. But nothing like the Ethereum forge described in the inscriptions has ever been found within the borders of Skyrim. It may have been destroyed long ago by Nord invaders or the Dwemer themselves. Or perhaps it, like the secrets of Ethereum itself, still remains to be discovered. So... There is a forge in Angthamps that will uh, forge strange and powerful items. That could be worth checking out, although there is that spirit there that did sort of say... I say spirit. I heard a ghostly voice saying, turn back. I assumed it was a spirit. It sounded like a spirit. You know, you walk in somewhere and it goes, turn back. That sounds ghostly, right? It could have just been someone, well, trying to seem ghostly to scare me away. And it worked. Although I was not prepared to enter there. I did not have potions. I did not have poisons. So, which reminds me. I must make a bunch of poisons and 
potions. But before I do that, before I do that, I want to check the Daedric Hall. Requires one spider egg and one frostbite venom. I have. So I can build displays from certain items. We've got moth in a jar. Dragonfly in a jar. Moth in a jar. Bee in a jar. I don't have... Don't I have dragonfly in a jar? I've got something called death belt. Torch bug in a jar. I've got something like death belt in a jar. Don't know where I would put that though. Some of these exhibits I have to craft myself. I need wolf. I've got a load of these things. I could probably just bring a ton of the junk that I've stored in. I'm not sure I've got hawker meat, but I might have the tusks. I should start to collect more animal bits just to chicken. One chicken breast, one chicken egg. I, I recently saw a dead chicken. Probably should have... Oh, wow. Okay. I'll check what I've... Dog meat. I'll check what I have got. But I don't think I've got enough to make, well, even a fraction of these. I definitely can make that one. Dragon bone versus... Dragon bone. Where in the hell do I get a dragon bone and a dragon scale? This is all my gemstones. I tell you what, he really, really is the king of wishful thinking. He really is. I can't click on that. Activate tide pool display. Would you like to place up? No. I'm not totally sure about that one. Okay, this is not the Daedric... Oh, but honestly, I really do think we should build some of these um, displays. All right. It wasn't down here. Okay. Yes, I now have a lot more of these. That is nice. Um, I've mastered alchemy. Was it down here? The Daedric Exhibit Hall. I'm assuming this is where... Last remaining page of the Mysterium Zarks. The Mysterium Zarks was a tome written by Merun's Dagon. It was a... This is what I saw in the case. Did I somehow get it anyway? And, and evil power. The book was given by Dagon to Mankar Cameron. After studying the tome, Mankar wrote the commentaries on the Mysterium Zarks. Inspired by the prophecies and promises within the book, Mankar founded the mythic Dawn, a Daedric cult which worshipped Merun's Dagon. The Xarxes acted as the cult's holy book. Using the power of the book, Mankar created Gea Alata, or Paradise, an alternate realm where the souls of mythic dawn cultists went after death. This page is all that remains. Oh, well, that's kind of a relief. Right. Now, I think... Daedric, Face of Terror. I don't have the item I need. Right. This is the ancient Daedric stuff. This is Scourge. Right. And what else did we have? We had... I'm going to put the light on. This was the skeleton key. Ring of... I don't have the item I need. Yeah. I was just wondering... I was just wondering why there was something there. What do we have over here? Umbra! Ah, this is where Umbra goes. Ring of Namira. Uh, okay, so... Saviour's Hide, Skull of Corruption. All of these things that... Ogham Infinium. Oh, good grief. All right, um... Merun's Razor. The replica is lost. Right, I don't quite hit have a small no 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 that looks like the actual razor no I've got I've still got Merun's razor for some reason they wouldn't take the replica and place it however now 
we have it on display. Nice. Yeah, it looks like Orion has been reading up on the ethereal stuff as well, and apparently he believes there are some items that could be uh, acquired as well. That does somewhat reinforce the idea that we should go back to uh, when we're uh, better prepared. And on that note, I am thinking that's what I should do now. Go and get better prepared. The thing is, I may be able to make enough potions now to go through that alchemical ritual. Let's see how many more restore potions we can make. Okay, I've got eight ultimate healing potions. Those are ones I've found. I've got 33 potions that restore 175 points of health, which should be enough. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, I've got 32 potions that restore health. Um, and I've got this one that fortifies the health and restores 175, but I've just made... Some that do 194, and those actually do 194 and make my weapon and armor improving. I have got a lot of seriously good potions now. I think I'm ready to go. Let's just, just, right. Um, yeah, probably start there and just... Um, this this could be right. I'm gonna I'm gonna get that on there, and then that on there, I suppose, and hope like hell. Yeah. All right. Let's let's just do the usual, and and see where we go with that. Uh, before I start chugging, I think. I'm going to do, do a regenerate. Um, yes, I know, I know. I'm going to do a regenerate potion. And for that, I'm going to need my lab skeever set up. Uh, regenerate health. I don't believe resistance to poison is going to help much. I really don't. But, you know, just in case. And I should probably now change at least... I've got... No, that one just makes the duration last longer, which is completely... Po oh, no, I tell you what. I don't think that makes a huge difference. I really don't. Uh, but it's, you know, 100% resistant to poison. Maybe it'll work, and I'll have absolutely no problems whatsoever. He says. What do you think, Indigo? Am I nuts? I'm nuts, aren't I? All right. I've now got... Oh, God, I've got some fortified. I'm now regenerating health quite a lot. 218% faster. And I'm ready. Oh, this is just so insane. <sighs> okay. So. I've got enough to take it and then some. I am going to have to think what I do afterwards. Right. Alchemy. So... I, first of all, need to get Amplify Lethality. Once per day, I can reduce a victim's uh, resistance to poison quite a lot. I wonder if I could do that on, like, seriously tough opponents. I have no idea what this is. World Serpent, turn my blood to poison? I have a feeling this has something to do with all that, um shouting thing I keep getting mental prodded m mental prods about when I read words on walls I like the idea of being a world serpent but this that which does not kill you upon learning this perk you imbibe a deadly toxin taking 150 damage per second if you survive for 60 seconds you receive three perk points and a permanent 25% bonus to all potions and poisons you make. Okay, then. 
Here goes. And I should try not to take these potions too quickly. And... Oh, no, no, no. Bit faster, bit faster, bit faster. Come on. You can do this. How am I doing? I've got six of those left, and then I'm on those. I've also got the ultimate. Keep. Did I do it? Did I do it? Well, I'm not dying. I'm not dying, so... Okay. Okay, well, I've got the perk, and I've got five again. But I can't find any, you know, like... No, not source, I want a name. It, alchemy, I'm guessing it would be... Really would have thought it was, and... None of these... Okay. Well, the thing to do now... Oh, make sure I've got all my alchemy gear on. And then see how strong the best one is probably to try restore health. Restore health will now give me 243 points of health. That is a boost. 240. It's not as good as ultimate health potions. God knows how you make those. I don't think I can. What about... Oh, say paralysis. 65 seconds. Nice. Lingering damage. Hell, oh, yes. 65 points per second for 10 seconds. 650 damage. I should be able to kill a lot of... Oh, I am so making some potions now. Oh, my. 65 seconds of paralysis and 650 damage. If that doesn't kill something, I probably just want to use the uh, minute of paralyzation to get away. This is nice as well. 50% slow movement for a few minutes and damaging the health by a lot. And 130% weak. This is, this is devastating. So is this, though. I mean, it's not... It doesn't have the slow. Mind you, look at the damage on that. 320. That's just monstrous. This is pretty good, though. 194 and, you know, 130%. This is going to be the mainstay poison, I think. That is nice. And my resists are now going to be off the chart. Fortifying health. Imp oh, look at this. Oh, did I make... I didn't make any new regenerate health ones. And I am curious as to whether or not Frenzy is uh, is improved enough to the point where I actually might think about using it. Somehow, I suspect not. Let's have a quick look. Actually, 32 is not... That's not terrible, is it? Do I want anything else on the Frenzy? I don't actually think I do. I... Honestly, level 32, that's pretty good. I could cause a lot. And I do mean a lot of chaos with those. Although I'm wondering if I should mix them with uh, a bit of damage health. So... Yeah, I could use this one to damage 130 or that one. 100. I think maybe leave them a little bit of life left. So that they can cause some chaos. And, you know, maybe... Let's make a few of those. But I'm also thinking a few where I don't damage the enemy could also be... Just, you know, put that on a really tough enemy. He could kill a few people. I wish I could make it last longer as well. Ten seconds is not a huge amount of time. Carry weight 130 for 300 seconds and stamina regeneration 162% faster. My 130% harder to detect. Oh my god. I am the greatest alchemist that has ever lived. That's probably not true.
but I'm going to keep telling myself that. I now have poisons that could drop a mammoth. Maybe. I hope. <sighs> Either way, I'm not going to get any better. I am now as good as I can ever be in the alchemy department, so I now need to rethink my life a little. I also need to think, what do we do next? Because there are several things I want to do. But I think we'll leave that to the morning, because right now I need a good night's sleep. No, I don't. I need a good day's sleep. As intriguing as the book was, I do have other things on my mind right now, but I do want to go back and investigate Angvanks. Rion's drum. Right now, I'm thinking it would be nice to recruit the last member of our guild, and I believe they are a college dropout. So I probably need to check around Winterhold. If they're not there, that's probably where I will pick up the trail. And, oh, I probably should get that contract sorted out. Yes, I should. However, there is something that's been bugging me for a while. And that is, I have this... I can't remember what it's for. It's some item that Orion told me about right over here. And I really just want to get this off my to-do list. At the same time as picking up the boots of the Crusader. Because once I've got the boots, that's the entire Crusader set complete. Which would be very cool. I could also steal Frost while I was there. I mean, Maven didn't seem to mind, so we could steal it and, uh... I have a feeling she has plans for the person I'm delivering the horse to, so... And, of course, there are um, a bunch of items in the Thieves' Guild I want to bring back here. I've written down the ones I'm missing in the museum, so I want to pick them up. And, of course, hand in a bunch of tasks to Delvin. So I think I'm going to swing over to Riften, get these items, possibly stop off at Windhelm and speak to the contact just to, uh, you know, keep the Night Mother happy, and then head to Winterhold to recruit the last member of our little guild here. Because then we can really start doing archaeological excavations. And by we, I'm hoping I mean... They. Yes. What is it? So we pick up the uh, the sword of Red Eagle. I still haven't found anyone to do the mask, and I could have asked him to do the mask, but I think I'm going to ask him to improve Merun's razor next. Yes, I think so. Actually, Merun's razor may well become. Um, one of my favourite weapons, by the looks of things. It's just, it's very small. It's a little less uh, in your face as the Blade of Woe. I mean, in your face is all very Australia well on alive, occasion, but, but sometimes I want something a little more, well, in your back, I guess. I suppose so. Right, yes. so we've got Red Eagle's Bane. Let's just check that first. Red Eagle. Red Eagle's Bane, legendary, 37. That is quite nice. Yes, it is. It is still not as good as the Blade of Woe, though. That's the strange thing. That blade is massive, actually. Yeah, Merun's Razor just strikes me as more daggerish. Blade of Woe? I don't know, it almost feels... It doesn't look so bad, I suppose. Almost feels swordish, it's that large. However, hello! Stop snarling. Oh my god, the nightshade has grown back! The nightshade has actually grown back here! Now, I don't actually need any. I've got tons of the stuff now. I mean, absolutely bucket loads of it. And it's kind of... I don't know, it makes the place look a little more colourful. I'm leaving it, but it's... It's taken a long time. Yes, it has. I can't believe how happy I am about that. But I am. I'm really happy about that. Okay, that's all of the jobs submitted. Oh, God. You guys have not done 
anything since I was last here? Right. Now, what is it I need? I have got a list here. I need the left eye of the Falma. Yes, I do. I need the Hunning Brew and the Queen Bee. Hunning Brew decanter and... Where was the Queen... Aha. Queen Bee statue. I also need the model ship and the jeweled drinking horn. That's an ornate drinking horn. Could it have been the ornate one I needed? I've written it down as jewel. Um, I have a feeling I'm... Okay, I'm just going to check my notes again. No, it was Bust of the Grey Fox, which is actually, oddly enough, right in front of me. Okay. Activate business ledger. Why would I want to do that? I have need of Sinric. Mercer, I've cons I'd consider it a personal favour if I could once again utilise Sinric's unique skills for a delicate situation in the Sidna Mines. A close friend has been incarcerated in that horrible place, and I should like him freed as soon as possible. I'd recommend Sinric avoid the forsworn element that's prevalent within the mine and stick to as simple an escape plan as possible. Ah, they want him to... Maybe I should speak to Sinric. That's a job he could do and maybe earn us a little money. Where would I find... Oh, I do like this room. Yes, I do. It's looking good now. It really is looking pretty damned good. I have a treasure room in the museum, you know. Have I shown it to you? I can put my money in there and it looks really, really good. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to see if I can find Sinric and uh, chat to him Tidings. before I head on out. Okay, so there's no real conversation option. I'm sure we'll speak again. Right, so you're a lockpick, though. That's what you specialize at. So something in the Sinric mine requires someone uh, that can pick locks. Yes. Maybe I should check that out next time we're in Marco. However, I've done everything I need to do here. Let's continue onwards. I've been focusing on becoming the greatest alchemist alive for such a long time that I'm now at a bit of a loss. I was saving perks up for that, but of course I got the perks back, which means I can now focus on some other skills. There are a few things I do want to take in pickpocket and lockpicking that I can't quite take at the moment. But I do want to save some perks up because they are going to get a little harder to come by. For example, seen this before, being able to just get through expert locks absolutely trivially and, uh, you know, it does, it does look like it's one of those uh, skills where uh, you do regain your investment. So I do want to save a few perks for that, actually. But I do want to spend a few. Uh, one of the ones in sneaking that I was considering, one of the ones I can take at the moment, is cloak and dagger. Breaking invisibility with a power attack is guaranteed critical strike that deals 50% more critical damage. I can go invisible reasonably often. And there are a few things I have... Um, encountered that have somehow survived a stab in the back. This, of course, would mean I have a little more power. But it's a bit situational. And I can't help but feel I would get more out of uh, just improving my ability to stab them in the first place. This seems like a bit of a no-brainer. 25% more damage. One-handed weapons do 50% more damage. And critical strikes with one-handed strikes do 2% more critical. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm loath to admit it, but that's probably going to be very, very useful. There are a few things that I cannot poison. You've got the Dwemer robots, you've got Draugr, you've got vampires, although I'm still, I'm still convinced I should be able to 
come up with some sort of uh, poison for vampires. I don't know. Ground silver dust? Uh, fire salts, maybe? There's got to be something I could concoct that would make them have a bad day. However, I should now be able to dispatch more or less everything I meet as long as I get behind it. And of course, this will make it um, so that I can do a tiny bit more damage when face to face. Although I suspect I will still be relying on Inigo. I'm going to save the rest because, as I said, there are some other things I wish to take. And if we do meet things that survive, maybe one day I can think about taking Cloak and Dagger. Although I have to ask, what the hell would survive? I mean, realistically, unless we're going to end up fighting dragons, and what sort of idiot would try and stab a dragon? I honestly think... Oh, come on. Go, eh? Yes, it okay. is. Um, right, so, we still have a few hours of daylight left. And what I'm thinking is we head off to get the boots of the Crusader and whatever it is that Orion has asked me to find. And then perhaps on the way back, when darkness begins to fall, I can uh, just call in there and steal Frost's lineage papers. Now, uh, Maven has said it's okay if I steal the horse. She has plans for the the person who has given me this task. But she probably would be a little irritable if I murdered everybody in there. You think? Probably. We'll try and do that somewhat um, I love it here. subtly. Yeah, it is pretty good. I do like having this uh, this house. I have to admit, it's not as impressive as Solitude, and yet somehow I feel more comfortable here. I really do. Could be the view, could be the city. Just, I don't know what it is. I like having a lakeside property, you know. I mean, if you think about it, that's what this is. It's a lakeside property. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, so um, I think what I'm going to try and do is keep Shadow Cloak of the Nocturnal until uh, I absolutely have to use it, because that could be useful when uh, trying to steal Frost. Do you remember this, Inigo? This is the way we came on our first adventure together. And strangely enough, that was to get something for Orion. As, uh, okay, as well. Uh, wolves. Find safety, I'm pretty Find sure I heard. Okay, I'm pretty sure I heard spells. Oh. Did I hear something like lightning? Oh. Okay, I have a feeling your horse is headed off towards um, the uh, Blackbriar, what was it called? Blackbriar Lodge? That is where we're supposed to be, um, you know, oh, hello, acquiring the horse. And... I'm thinking maybe it's a bad idea if we get seen down here, although your bloody horses. Well, I guess it doesn't matter, really. I mean, the thing is, is Maven knows we're planning to rob the horse, so if if her guards sort of turn up on her door going, You remember that horse that got stolen? Well, right before it, we saw that leather bloke hanging round down the bottom there. Because she'll probably just look at them and say, Yes, I know. Go away. Thought that was a wolf for a second. Um. Right. We're coming back here later. Would you go get your horse, please? What is that? A cave. Is this where I'm supposed to... No, probably not. 
Um, Broken Helm Hollow, that's where we went to get. I can't even remember what it was we went to get. Um, find the boots of the... Right, so... Okay. We're looking for Fort Dawnguard for an artifact for Orion and Boots of the Crusader. Where the hell are we going to find the Boots of the Crusader? Um, boots, Kinnereth. Kinnereth. I'm missing one of the shrines in the museum. And I'm pretty sure I've... I've to be honest with you, Kinnereth is the one I think I'm missing. Let's have a look. We've got Debella, Mara, Akatosh, Kinnereth, Zenithar, Julianos, Stendar, RK. That's eight. Plus Talos, which would be nine. And I'm missing one of them, but I'm pretty... You know what? It doesn't matter. I'm looking for a Mossy Glen cave. That is the important thing here. But what I'm looking for should be further on, apparently. So let's keep... Riding. Pretty miserable weather, although that's fairly normal for Rifton. Inigo likes it, though. <laughs> there you go. He likes the effect it has on his horse's hair. So, you know, keeps him entertained. We have... Okay, that... Protect yourself, Steve. Okay, that is a spellcaster, I think. We... Yes, it... Oh! Oh, God. Wait. How the hell did I do... I meant to do that. I meant to do that. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I meant to do. Yes, it did. Steel Imperial Gauntlets. Don't know if I've got them. Okay. I see what could be a fort ahead. And... Okay, that's the wrong side. So, yeah, there, there looks like there's a fort ahead, but I, I need to find a yeah. cave before that. Why why, why did that person just randomly attack us? Hmm, never mind. Keep your eyes open for a cave. Okay, that doesn't actually look like a fort. Actually, Inigo, you know, that looks a little bit like the border. I have a feel... Yeah, I'm pretty sure Orion would have mentioned it if... if the artifact was to be found outside of Skyrim. So we need to get... Okay, we need to get through here, maybe? Is that where we're supposed to be going? I'm not seeing a cave. I mean, there was the cave back. I suppose maybe if we, if we could get through the... You know what? You know what? Let's check with our old friend, Clairvoyance. Okay, no, apparently not. Oh. We're supposed to go that way? But that makes no real sense. I mean... What am I hearing? I mean, we've got... Okay, have I, am I concentrating on too many things at once? It is possible. Let's just focus on what it is I want to do right now. Okay. Still sending me... That cannot be right. We're heading... You know what? Let's just go and see what we can find in that cave. I can't help but feel... We need to get through this area. Day Spring Canyon. Okay. Okay, the weather seems to be a little 
Right. Are we going in? We are. Right. So, this will hopefully... Take us through to somewhere where there will be a cave and or a fort. Okay, it looks pretty cold here. Whoa. Okay. Hello? Oh, hey there. You here to join the Dawn Guard too? Um, Truth is, I'm not nervous. exactly. I've never done anything like this before. What? I hope you don't mind if I walk up with you. Hey, uh, don't tell me. Walk up with me. Not the best first impression for a new vampire hunter, I guess. I'm... I'm sorry, what? Did he... Did he say vampire hunter? Okay. And did he ask if he could walk with us and then run away? What a strange individual. This is... Absolutely spectacular, isn't it? This is pretty damned amazing. Ooh. Okay. Wow. You don't think when it you don't think. No. What we're looking for is in this direction. We're looking for a cave. Or a fort. There we go. Now, that is a bloody impressive fort. That's not one of those little wooden contraptions. This is... Yeah. Uh... On earth is this bleeding crown? Hopefully, whoever's here won't be hostile, but let's not... Assume that. Uh. Okay. Well, it said a cave. And. Okay. And the area around Fort Dawnguard. I see. A uh. Cave. Excellent. Um, won't be needing that. Moss Glen Cave. Right, this is where... Okay, this is where the... Um, this is where the boots will be found. It's... Dark. That is a skeever. I'm thinking night vision... I mean, it's only a skeever, but still. Um, no. Ah! I have a... There's... I have a feeling that is what we need. There's... Right, okay, no, I need to I need to be wearing the ring. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It's a little odd. Boots of the Crusader, we now have the entire set. Yes, we do! Guardians of the Divine. Now I've just wasted a, a potion, because I don't think I need to go any further, so you know what? Where was... The, there it is. Let's... Get, oh. It said the area around Fort Dawn Guard, didn't it? You don't think... No. Right. Okay. This is actually very, very useful. So. We probably need to get closer to the fort. That really is large, isn't it? The area around Fort Excuse me. Around Fort Dawn Guard. I wonder if we have to go inside. And if so, I wonder if they'll be friendly. I mean that 
gentleman we saw back there seemed to be friendly enough, didn't he? And he ran off in this direction, so you would assume it can't be too unfriendly. Hello? Hello? Hello, Durak? You there. The Dawn Guard is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vampire menace. What do you say? Uh, what is the... Do I haven't really... What vampire menace? I've, I mean, I've, I've met a few. Some are kind of annoying and some are mildly irritating, but I wouldn't have called many of them a menace. You're not paying attention then, like almost everyone else around here. Haven't you heard that the Hall of the Vigilance was destroyed by vampires? They never took the threat seriously, and now they paid the price. The Hall of the Vigilance? I was just there, mate. I was just there, and it's fine. I was wandering around in the neighborhood, you know. Vigilance, Dawn Guard. What are you talking about? The Vigilance mostly hunt down Daedra worshippers, which is why they got torn to pieces when they went up against vampires. That's why our leader, Isran, is re-establishing the Dawn Guard. Real serious vampire hunters. Okay, well that's 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 good. Uh, so they 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 go out and um, you know kill the vampires. Did they kill all of them? Like, what happens if they're integrated into society? I'm not saying I know of any like that, but you know what? Never mind. What? Just tell me We're about vampire them. hunters. We search out and destroy those blood sucking scum wherever we find them. I'm going to assume that means all of them, yes? Killing vampires, where do I sign up? No, sorry, no, not interested. I would, I really would uh, love to help you out, but I'm busy doing a whole sort of, you know, I'm a thane. I'm actually a thane in several places, so I'm very, very busy, so sorry about that, but good luck. That's what everybody says. Right up until they find their throat being ripped out by a pack of hungry vampires. If you change your mind and decide to join the fight before it's too late, Go talk to Isran up in the fort. Yeah, I'm unlikely to be changing my mind. Although I, I'm going to, I'm going to head to the fort. I'll um, I'll say hi, you know, and uh, take a drink beforehand. Just um, check the area out, you know, because th I'm thinking about it. Obviously. Um, where do, you, where do you think? It's going to be. It's. I'll tell you what. Oh. Okay. It looks like it's probably going to be inside there then. Um. New recruits. Hmm. Isran will decide if you've got what it takes. Go on. He's right inside. Yes. We're we're definitely thinking about. Um, joining. Yes, we are definitely thinking about it, considering our options. Why are you here, Tolan? The Vigilance and I were finished with each other a long time ago. You know why I'm here. The Vigilance are under attack everywhere. The vampires are much more dangerous than we believed. And now you want to come running to safety with the Dawn Guard, is that it? I remember Keeper Karsep telling me repeatedly that Fort Dawn Guard is a crumbling not worth the expense and manpower to repair. And now that you've stirred up the vampires against you, you come begging for my protection. Isra, Karset is dead. The Hall of the Vigilance, everyone, they're all dead. You were right, we were wrong. Isn't that enough That can't be right, I was just there. I never wanted any of this to happen. I tried to warn all of you. I am sorry, you know. Okay. Um, hi. So who are you? What do you want? Um, I'm... Yeah, I was just looking... Well, yes, I was just looking around and, um... Why do I even post guards? This is the headquarters of the Dawn Guard. Well, it used to be. A long time ago. As you can see, we have some work to do to restore it to its former glory. 
But maybe you want to help me with that. It's not actually that bad. Yet. Well, um, I'll have to think. Would you, uh, out of curiosity, what, what, what help do you need? I need someone out in the field taking the fight to the damn vampires. While we're getting the fort back into shape. Tolan was telling me about some cave the Vigilants were poking around in. Seemed to think it was related to these recent vampire attacks. Tolan, tell him about, what was it? Dim Hollow. Yes, that's it. I was there. Dim Hollow Crypt. Brother Adelwald was sure it held some long-lost vampire artifact of some kind. Artifact? We didn't listen to him any more than we did Isram. He was at the hall when it was attacked. That's good enough for me. Go see what the vampires were looking for in this dim hollow crypt. With any luck, they'll still be there. Uh, Here, you should take a crossbow. Good for taking out those fiends. I already, they get already, close. already have one. You, you feel free to poke around the fort and take what you need. There isn't much yet, but you're welcome to anything you can use. Uh, I'll meet you at Dim Hollow. It's the least I can do to avenge my fallen comrades. Tolan, I don't think that's a good idea. No, that's a, that's a great idea. Never I know what you think of us. You think we're soft, that we're cowards. You think our deaths proved our weakness. Stendar granted you do not have to face the same test and be found wanting. I'm going to Dim Hollow Crypt. Perhaps I can be of some small assistance to you. Yeah, you no. There, boy. Absolutely. Stop I'm, I'm just. Can I just ask about the artifact? Oh, yeah.